Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Jason and this is my Hot Shot Life. And listen, I know it's coming up on 11 o'clock at night and I'm getting really, really late at getting this video out to you. So I do apologize for that, guys. I'm super, super sorry. It's of course my birthday. We went out with my family and uh, dinner just ran to like almost three and a half, four hours. We had a really great time uh, out at Texas Roadhouse. So it was really great. And guys, I have to say thank you very much for everyone who has wished me a very happy birthday today, guys. Thank you all. You've all been phenomenal. But right now, I know you guys want the most important thing, what everybody's here for, is who is the winner? Who's the winner of this free ticket giveaway for the Marvel's Avengers Endgame movie coming out this weekend, guys? We did this earlier today. I had Ellie go ahead and pick the winner. I have 377 names on this list. So what I did was I cut everybody up. I put it all into this jar, and I had Ellie dip her hand in, and she was only supposed to grab one. But after shaking off her hand, she did have three all wrapped in there. And um, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to give away three sets of tickets. We're going to do six tickets are going out uh, today, tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winners right now. We're already a minute or so into this. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. The very first winner that I read off from Ellie's hand earlier was Mr. Todd Creasy or Creasy or Crace. Um... The second winner here was Mr. Buffalo Bill. So Mr. Buffalo Bill. And then the third was Mr. Matthew Clevenger. Uh, sorry, I kind of scribble when I write. There you go. I got to move my fingers out of the way. Anyways, guys, I want you guys to go ahead, hit the comment section below and get my email address. I want the three of you guys to email me. Um, Todd, uh, Bill, and Matt, go ahead, email me is imperialhaulers at outlook.com and then we'll set everything up and get everything going for getting you your tickets. Um, moving on from that guys, congratulations. First off, I'll do, you know, I'll go ahead and say that. Congratulations to you. I have a question that I need to answer for one of our viewers by the name of Corey and he asked a really, really great question. And that's what I want this video to be based on. Not just on that. We are going to do another giveaway later on. I might do something at 7,500, but we're moving so fast with the followers and subscribers, I might just have to push toward 10,000 and uh, do something big. I'll mention that one later, though. Um, right now, we have uh, oh, we got Mr. Corey. Corey is uh, new to Hot Shot. He's just getting into the business. And his question is on the 3,500, 4,500, and 5,500 Rams. Um, one specific question is into why I'm moving out of the 3500 and into a 4500 or 5500. Um, and he's asking if, you know, there's pro probably something wrong. There's got to be something wrong with this truck if this guy's, you know, only had it for a little while and there's moving out. Uh, I, I will start by saying that this is the best truck I've ever had in my life. I've driven a F350. I've, you know, I've owned an F350. I've driven a 2008 uh, F450. And that was pretty good, but I gotta say it wasn't the best thing out there for me. Uh, I think it had like 40 or 50,000 miles on it when I was driving that back, I wanna say like maybe eight years ago, nine years ago. Um, wasn't the best thing, I didn't really like it. But I have really loved the Ram. I know that the one I have is only a tradesman and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's been like the best truck in the entire world, which is why I'm sticking with Ram, with Dodge, with Chrysler, with whatever you guys want to call it, because you guys have been arguing in the comments below uh, on some of these videos that I said Dodge in one of my videos. Uh, guys, do keep in mind that these are Dodges, these are Chryslers, these are Rams, they're Jeeps, whatever you want to call them, guys. It's all the same company. Uh, so let's not read too much into that. But anyways, um, why am I moving up to the 4,500 and 5,500 and what's the difference between the 3,500 into those? Uh, number one difference more than anything is going to be that the 4,500 and 5,500 have a much higher payload. Uh, the suspension is made differently. Um, it comes with bigger wheels, bigger tires, bigger rims, and comes with bigger brakes for a great stop for a greater stopping ability. So the payload, what you can actually put in the vehicle onto the back of the truck being, you know, a flatbed for a tow truck, uh, maybe a dump trailer or not a dump trailer, but like a dump, uh, 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 how do you say it? A dump bed. Um, that is going to be one of the biggest differences there. So when you're loading, 
or when I'm loading my hotshot trailer and I want to load stuff very front heavy, I'll have a better advantage on doing that. That's not always the smartest thing to do. I will uh, point that out. It's not always that smart because you're putting a lot of pressure on that neck, but we'll discuss that in later videos. Um, payload is definitely going to be the biggest thing on there. But the reason why I'm upgrading is because I'm looking to add a sleeper. Um, now, adding a sleeper onto my truck is going to, of course, add a lot of weight. So I'm going to need that extra payload. <coughs> um, when we look at the truck that I have right now, it has a bed on the back of it. Now, the trucks that have the bed on the back of them, the engines are very good and they're not derated in any type of way. And we've all seen what the brochures say. They can pull over 31,000 pounds, yada, yada, this, that. Um, but when you get into the cab chassis, which is what I'm going to need in order to put a sleeper, the engines are derated. And I want to go ahead and take a quick second and tell you about the 2019s and what their payload is. Now, what I'm going to be telling you about is the crew cab dual rear axle, dual rear axle, dual, wow, guess it's been a long day, dual rear wheel, not axle, wheel. I did that in another video too. I totally screwed that up. Anyways, it's going to be the dual rear wheel. So it's going to be a dually and the four by four. So 2019 crew cab dually four by four. We're going to talk about the 3,500 first with the 410. I'm not even going to bother with the, uh, uh, with the 373. The 410 has a total, um, tow capacity of 25,130 pounds. Now, while I'm going through this small chart here, I want you to keep in mind that this is just what uh, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, uh, Mopar, whatever you want to call it, is recommending you don't go over. This is what they say the max payload is for the truck. Now, of course, there are guys who are out there who are running four and five car haulers with a 3500. I'm not going to sit here and say that there's not and that you can't go beyond that because there's guys who are doing uh, more than 50%, more than 100% over what these numbers are. But I just want you to pay attention to what these numbers are really quick because this is what the company actually says that, that their vehicles can do. The 4500 with the 410 rear, all the same specs, is 23,180 pounds tow capacity. That's what they say their max is. When we look at that 4500 with the 444 rear, they're saying it's uh, 28,680 pounds. So that's that's a 5,000 pound difference there. That's that's actually like five like 5,500 pounds difference. So if that 5,500 uh, that 5,500 pound difference uh, is important to you, you might want to go with the 444. But you gotta understand your fuel consumption is gonna go down substantially. Um, you'll definitely do a lot better with the 410 and the less tow capacity. So if you have like a 22 GN or something and you're at like 25, nine or something like that is your max uh, capacity on your trailer. Um, you probably, you know, you'll probably be okay with the 410. You're most likely gonna be more than perfectly fine with that. You can always uh, set your apportion tag a little bit higher than that. You know, you can apportion yourself at whatever you need to at that point. Going into the 5,500, it has a much better payload, which is why I'm looking at the 5,500 more than anything. Um, I'm still swayed to the 45 though. I will say that guys, I am swayed at the 45. With the 444 being that it is 28,680, uh, but the 5,500 with that same 444, now 5,500 weighs more, has higher uh, payload capacity, is going to be 23,120. So that's just like the 410 in the in the 4500. It's pretty much the same thing. Going into the 489, it's not a 488 with the 2019s. It's a 489. Now this is where I'm at with this, and why I'm most likely going with the 489. The max tow capacity uh, package is 34,120 pounds. Is what they say the max tow capacity is in the 5500. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you need to go with the biggest, baddest, most heaviest goddamn truck out there on the market. I'm not saying that, guys. You don't need to do that. Um, I'm saying that it's something that I'm personally looking at. Uh, 
funding wise. A lot of people don't have the money to throw out and do this kind of stuff. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that this is my full time business. This is a full time business for me, but this isn't my full time number one business. I am in business in other ways that I haven't really gotten into. Um, so what this business makes for me after doing my numbers with this 5500 with all the payments and everything i should be able to pay myself anywhere between like 1200 bucks to two thousand dollars a week depending on uh what i do in invoice that's if i get anywhere over like 5500 dollars a week in invoice you know five thousand dollars a week in invoice um i'd be able to pay myself a pretty good amount um one of the other questions, and actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and drop the link for this tow capacity chart for you guys down below uh, so you have it. Now, a lot of guys are going to say that I'm just running my mouth. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what's going on because I've never run these trucks, and I will tell you that. I'll be honest. I don't have the experience in this. I haven't been out on the road with these trucks. I will say that I have talked to enough people on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, who are running 4,500s, who are running 5,500s, who tell me, you know, what their fuel mileage is, what they are willing to do and what they're willing to tow, what they're apportioned at. And I've taken their advice and that's where I'm putting things into perspective here for myself. And in the future, I'll be able to tell you from my own personal experience. So be on the lookout for that. <coughs> As for the 5,500 and 4,500, <coughs> I might just be okay going with the 444 in the 4500 but that's all going to depend on if i'm able to get the laramie package with that when we were building it with uh with jim over at uh cooper motor company in south carolina we weren't able to get a lot of the same packages with the diesel engine um for the 45 and 5500 i have no idea why they're set up that way building them brand new online where some packages are available for different models or sorry for different trims but that's just the way they have them set up. I'm pretty sure that if I contacted somebody a little bit higher than Jim, I might be able to get it done. But this is what I'm telling you from our experience on the computer building these trucks. Um, which rear is best for which truck? Um, I definitely recommend the 3500 has the 410. It's going to give you uh, a little bit more, you know, oomph behind it. And if you're going with a cab chassis, it's going to be extremely derated. So what your tow capacity is on the one with the bed, it's going to be different when you're pulling uh, with a cab chassis. So you're going to have to be aware of that. Uh, for the 4500, the 410 should do just fine for you and it's going to save a lot of money. So the 410 for the 3500 and the 410 for the 4500 is what I'm going to recommend. Mind you guys, I am not experienced in this. I have to keep saying that over and over. This is just what the numbers are from what the company says their vehicles are able to do. I have to come out and say that because I know I'm going to get the backlash in the comments. Um, is it worth buying a 5500 over a 3500? If you're looking to put on a sleeper, if you're looking to own this truck for a long time, if you are... If you're looking to do some very heavy loads and maybe pull a 53 foot step deck, drop deck trailer, uh, hell, the 5500 is, you know, phenomenal for you. I think if you're going to look at the 5500, you want to look at the 444 and the 4500 because you'll get that for literally anywhere between 10 to maybe even $20,000 less. Uh, but for me, I like the payload. I like what this 489 looks like, and I understand what the mileage is going to be. Um, and of course, somebody's going to call me an idiot, and hey, that's fine. Um, I'm doing my research, and I'm doing my numbers, and I'm talking to as many people as possible. And this is from me, you know, telling you guys what's going on. So uh, take the advice, don't take the advice. That's perfectly cool. If you have anything, uh, if you have a 4500, I would love to talk to you if you're running the um, the 444 in a 2016, 17, 18. Um, I would love to talk to you guys. Please get in touch with me down in the comments below or send me an email, imperialhaulers uh, at outlook.com. The link is going to be below for the guys, um, for Todd, Matt, and Bill. Um, so guys, feel free to get in touch with me if you have anything you want to critique me on, any other advice. 
um, I'm always open to you know getting a little bit more knowledge but for Corey I wanted to go ahead and answer this and I know that there's a lot of guys who have these same questions so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and end it with that because it's uh well one it's time for me to get a watch I don't know what time it is I know it's way past 11 though so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you guys later hey guys did you like that video if you did, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content just like this. As for you, I hope you drive safe out there on the roads. My name is Jason, and this has been My Hot Shot Life, and I will, as always, see you on the next one.